so today is Tuesday. It's, I believe, the 15th. The gym doesn't work today, so I decided to take a rest day. And I just want to like briefly talk about the power building program that I was talking about just two weeks ago while I'm drinking my coffee, you know, just resting, doing nothing. So I talked about power building and I forgot to tell you one important thing about power building is that you want to be well rested. And that made me change my program a little bit. See, I really love going to the gym. I really love spending time in the gym. I love exercising. I love working out. I love the idea of building muscle. Everything when it comes to the gym, I love that. But it's harmful. It's harmful in a way. It doesn't really benefit me. It doesn't benefit you probably. You'll probably spend too, too much time at the gym. So let's just compare two different scenarios. Last winter, I'm bulking up. I'm deadlifting, benching, squatting all heavy sets, three sets of three reps, all heavy, really pushing to failure. And I'm doing that twice per week, every single compound movement. So deadlift two times per week, squat two times per week, and bench two times per week. And, you know, I'm getting some results, you know, I'm bulking up. I mean, I was 19 at the time, so, you know, I'm bulking up, I'm eating whatever, I'm gaining muscle. I'm not gaining that, that much fat because, you know, I kept the diet pretty clean but i'm not growing as fast as i could have grown you know if that makes sense so i change my routine now instead of six days per week i will spend only four days per week at the gym and my kind of routine works like this so monday would be for chest tricep and some delts you know i really love I really love the idea of just overdeveloping those delts. You know, when, when you have like a physique, it, it just looks nice. It, it just looks really well. It gives you that like V taper look, especially like if you work on your lats and you, you widen up, basically. It really gives you a nice look. So I really love spamming those. So after I'm done with my chest workout and my tricep workout, I will just hit uh, some delts on the cable or maybe do super set with dumbbells, whatever, basically, whatever I feel like is the best in that current situation. But for chest, I will focus on doing heavy bench, either three sets of three reps or like two sets of two reps, like really pushing heavy, as heavy as I possibly can. And then doing some basically all incline movements. I feel like I wasted a lot of my time energy, effort, and gains, trying to develop my lower chest. When in reality, your lower chest will develop in and of itself, you know, it's this area that it's hard to develop. It's this area that is lacking in my physique. And, you know, it makes my physique kind of look asymmetrical. But let's say I, I just do two sets of two reps of bench, you know, just quickly do that. Then I would hop on on cables I would put a bench in the middle of cables and I would just maybe like slightly lay down and do some incline movements with those cables either that or I can move on to dumbbells after bench and do just two sets of eight reps six to eight reps of just incline dumbbell press and yeah I forgot to mention everything is two sets six to eight reps really pushing to failure every single exercise. I believe that you don't really need four sets of 12 reps. You need that if you're not training hard enough. Let's be real. If on the fourth set, you can complete your 12 reps, you're not training hard enough. So I'm like, okay, let's reduce the time that I spend at the gym. Let's increase the time of my recovery. So let's decrease the amount of reps that I'm doing, but let's increase the intensity because what you really want to trigger is not just the working on the muscle because the muscle doesn't build muscle i don't know how to explain this but your nervous system is what activates your muscle to build your nervous system signals through muscles that hey we're tired we're under so much stress right now we need to grow bigger so your nervous system really does the job not your muscles if you can trigger a nervous system 
that your muscles are in some danger that they need to grow, they will grow. How do you trigger your nervous system? By causing enough stress and damage. And how do you cause stress and damage? Well, by working hard, by doing maybe lower sets, but with higher intensity. You can do more sets. Like, I, for example, during summer, I did squats for like four sets of 50 reps. That's insane, to be honest. But, you know, I, I had different goals then and it worked really fine with me. So you can all like experiment a little bit, but I'm really focusing on just the idea of power building and the idea of just building muscle and hitting the gym less, but gaining more. Because I spoke to many people now and they all said the same thing to me. Spend less time in the gym. Spend less time in the gym. Do more work outside the gym, you know, rest well, really sleep well, take care of your diet, whatever. The gym in and of itself is just for you to really cause the stress to your muscle. I, I spoke to a, a guy that is a physio in, uh, in our gym and I asked him, like, well, why is my lower back hurting? You know, I've been deadlifting. I've been, you know, carrying some heavy stuff on my nine to five. Why is my back constantly hurting? And, you know, he showed me some exercises. I can do them. He said, yeah, they may give you, you know, 5% boost. I'll take it. But then we came to a conclusion that if I'm really going to deadlift a lot and heavy and also squat heavy, I need more rest days. I need to spend less time in the gym. That's the conclusion. Eddie Hall, who was at one point the strongest man on the earth, I believe he still maybe is, but it doesn't matter now. He deadlifted 500 kg. He was the first one to deadlift 500 kg. And he said that it took him 10 days to recover after a heavy deadlift session, after hitting a PR. 10 days. And he said with a lot of money invested in, with a lot of recovery, you know, hyperbaric time chamber, <laughs> no time chamber, that's from Dragon Ball Z, some hyperbaric chamber, I don't know. It, it, it's all weird stuff that he uses. He uses a lot of physios, a lot of massages, a lot of sauna, cold plunges, whatever. He was able to reduce the recovery time from 10 days to seven days, which is insane. That's really, really good. If he can only bench, dead, deadlift once every single week, and he's the world's strongest man. How, how do I think I can deadlift two times in a span of four days, five days? It's impossible. I'm only gonna do more damage to myself and my back will hurt when I'm 30, when I'm 35, 40, because of my deadlifts when I was younger. So yeah. That's it for uh, for chest. Now for back, you know, as I said, I will focus on deadlifts, uh, deadlifts as well. Also doing all other exercises for like two sets, six to eight reps, really pushing heavy, really squeezing the muscle with chest. I didn't feel chest for the last two years of working out. You know, I grew like a decent chest, but only yesterday I was actually watching a video for like a uh, fitness influencer, Max Taylor, I believe he's called. Max Taylor, Max Taylor lifts, yeah. And he told me like one thing that is like, you really need to flex your muscle all the way up when you're like pushing the weight. So it kind of looks like, let's say I have a cable right here. You know, I'm stretching my muscle, you know, really stretching this area right here. And then when I'm pushing up, I'm flexing muscle and pushing up as I can as best as I can, pushing really up. You can even give yourself like a double neck, I mean a double chin, and really like squeeze this area of upper chest to really develop this nice upper chest. It works wonders for me. You just squeeze those muscles when you're, when you're going the way up and you squeeze them, not just at the top, but all the way up. I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Then at the top, you squeeze even more. This is the first time after maybe one year, one and a half years that I really have a sore, sore chest. Like I do this and my chest hurts. I'm, I'm, I'm astonished. Like I, I cannot wait for more workouts to come. I cannot wait 
to even challenge myself even more and to basically grow that chest because i look at myself in the mirror and i'm like yeah you know, chest is lacking chest is lacking like i have overdeveloped shoulders traps are decent arms pretty good but the chest is lacking like chest i really need to pump it up and my chest genetics i would say they're pretty right they're like pretty all right they're not the best but it's it's what i have and i have to make the most out of it and for legs i noticed that my legs grew a lot during summer when i was cutting now i don't know if that's just because my legs are now more like shredded so i can see the muscles better but it just seemed that my quads overall have grown a lot. And I've been doing, as I said, squats with 20 kg, only barbell, and doing like 50 reps for four sets. So what I plan on doing is maybe heavy squat for like two sets of two reps, really like pushing heavy as much as I can. And then for the next exercise, again, doing squats, but instead of maybe pushing for like 130 kg squat, reducing the weight to 60 kg, almost kind of like in half, and just doing two sets of eight reps, or even three sets of eight reps. Again, doing the, the quad machine, what is it called? Leg, leg extensions, doing leg extensions, again, until failure, doing leg curls, until failure, maybe even a Romanian deadlift. Uh, yeah, it's remaining deadlift uh, until failure. I won't do really leg press because, you know, I, I don't really like it that much. It's it, I, I don't really feel my legs when I'm doing leg press. Like, I can move, move the weight, but it doesn't feel like I'm working the muscles that I should be working. So I will avoid leg press as much as I can. And I will avoid Bulgarian because it just fucks up with my, my balance. Like, it isn't really the best. So I believe I only need those squats some extensions, some curls, and maybe like doing some, uh, something for calves, for calves, but they're like pretty all right. So maybe like once every two weeks doing like some supersets because I don't want to waste a lot of time. And then also like doing some shoulder presses, maybe in the end of the workout, if my nervous system still works after legs. And yeah, basically those are like the push pull legs. And then on the fourth day, the final day of the week that I work out, I think I'm going to hit chest again. And I believe it's going to either be chest or back, but not your leg or like regular chest or back day. It's going to be more either just bench, like heavy bench, and maybe doing some like uh, lower weight, but higher rep benching, and maybe doing some forearms. And basically that's it. So the four day would be to do things that I lack the most in my physique. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, physique. But yeah, basically, if I think that maybe two months, three months into my bulk, and I've seen a lot of progress in my chest, but then my back is lacking, like the thickness in the back is lacking, I would just hit shit ton of pull-ups or maybe doing some like rows until failure that four days. So it will either be for back or for chest. I don't think I'm gonna hit the legs uh, two times per week because it really doesn't make any sense because after every leg session I need at least five days to recover at least five days to like fully fully recover because my legs are sore and I really like push like in like a maniac on those legs so I will do them once a week and I will do them properly but yeah it's like you don't really need much you don't really need to do to go to the gym six times per, per week and have 20 sets per muscle like you don't really need that to be honest like, even even Tom Platts he said it himself that he only trained uh legs two times he only squatted two times per month so every two weeks he squatted because his nervous system was just all over the place because really pushed himself to beyond failure beyond failure Mike Menzer again a guy who was training six, seven days per week, then he switched the routine to like four days per week, more rest days. He noticed he gained more, he got more gains by training less. So I, I really believe that's the key in this book and the difference, huge differences that I 
I work now, I have a job, compared to last winter where, where I didn't. I was just, you know, hitting the gym, basically. <laughs> that was all, everything productive that I was doing in a day. So nowadays, yep, yeah, today is rest day. Uh, and I just felt like I needed to make this video just to preach about resting, about rest days, about letting your nervous system calm down. Because if you also want to do some other work, other than just to the gym, let's say you have a job that you really like, you let's say you want to build a business, let's say you want to read more, you want to, I don't know, spend time with your family, like you you really need your nervous system to rest. Your nervous system is the catalyst. It is the engine. It builds your muscle, but it can also damage your muscle. It gets you up in the morning, but it can also keep you in the bed. So it's like you really got to take care of your nervous system, not the muscles. And also for recovery, well, might as well say when I'm on this topic is a lot of stretching, a lot, a lot of stretching. And I will do a lot of back, like simple, those like back stretching slash exercises that will really help me develop a more stable back. Because the last thing I want to do is injure myself. If I injure myself and I cannot work out for the next two months, I will, I don't know, I will, I will enter a, a zone of depression, basically. But yeah, that's what's happening. That's the protocol that I'm going to be doing right now. A lot of protein, a lot of healthy fats, a lot of carbs, you know. Yeah, carbs, we can say, are they good, are they bad? They're maybe giving you brain fog. I do most of my mental work at 5 a.m. when I wake up from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. In that one hour block, I'm just focused on that one thing and I do a lot of work in that one hour period. The rest of the day, just eat, sleep, <laughs> work and uh, hit the gym, basically. So yeah, I might film more gym workouts. I might film maybe more compilations, maybe more like cinematic stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like those kind of videos where I just talk and give you maybe some insights of insights of my training routine and how I, how I rest, what I eat, maybe like do a day, full day of eating, maybe, maybe that, would, that would be like a good idea because basically what I eat in a day is, is the same except the dinner maybe because that's basically whatever my mom makes, my mom, my mom makes, bro, I cannot speak, I need more coffee. Mm-hmm. Delicious. But yeah. Basically just a little update on everything that is going on with my training routine. A little flex. That's it. Keep working hard and I'm proud of you.